Hey y'all, Steve here. Man, last couple of days we have just been hammered with snowstorms here in the south. And uh, they say that today is going to be our last day. I certainly hope so, but that's not the reason for this video. This video is I want to show you why if you have an iPhone that you should have iMovie on your phone because it's a great way to edit all the video clips that you take on your iPhone. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around back here and I'm going to take a few video clips. Then I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you how to edit these on iMovie on your iPhone. It's easy. You don't have to be intimidated if you haven't done it. And you can directly upload those to YouTube. So let's go take a few clips and then I'll go back inside where it's nice and warm and we will start doing some editing and you will discover very quickly that yeah Steve you're right I need the iMovie app on my iPhone. Okay y'all the first thing you want to do is go to the app store and download iMovie app if you don't already have it on your iPhone I think it's four dollars and ninety nine cent go to the App Store once you have that downloaded let's go in and take a look at it and let's open the app up I have it in my photo and video folder so I'm gonna tap iMovie and open up iMovie right now now when iMovie opens up this is the what this is the way your screens gonna look right there you can see up at the top middle its projects and in the middle it says tap the plus symbol to start a movie or trailer so I'm gonna tap the plus and I'm not gonna mess with the trailer today I wanna edit these video clips that I have made so I'm gonna hit movie now at this point in time iMovie is gonna allow you to choose some themes now this is kind of self-explanatory. You can actually touch some of these scenes and play them to see how they look and to see if that's something that you might want your video to look like. Now all of these features are built right into iMovie. The one that I generally choose is just the simple theme right here. I don't I don't want to do a whole lot to my videos so I always choose the simple thing so I'm going to choose that up at the top right I'm going to tap create movie so now I actually have the video editor in front of me on my iPhone this is where you will actually begin to edit all these clips together now up at the very top you see it have the film strip symbol you tap that to insert media in the middle you have the camera if you want to actually record video right now directly from iMovie you would tap that so I'm gonna tap the film strip now what is gonna happen now is the film strip is gonna open up the videos that it finds on my iPhone so I have recorded all of these clips outside just a little while ago so I am going to begin with the one at the very bottom here when I tap that you can see it highlights in yellow it's a 34 second clip and if I tap the arrow that is pointed down it is going to drop that clip into my timeline so I'm going to tap it now that clip is in my timeline. I can take my thumb or finger and swipe and go back to the very beginning of that clip. I can tap the play button and this video will start playing. I can watch it on my iPhone. I'm gonna hit the pause. I'm gonna go to the very end of this clip and now once again I want to add another clip to that so I'm going to tap the film strip icon and as you can see the video clip that I have already used 
has a gold bar at the bottom. That's an indicator that I've already used that, so I don't want to tap that again. I'm just going to start moving upwards. And I'm going to tap that one. Now, as you can see, it added that to my timeline. I'm going to take my finger and swipe back and go back to the beginning of this clip. And I want to show you right here in the middle, right there where that center line is, iMovie has already added a transition point. That's a dissolve. So let's go back to the first clip just a little bit. As you can see, I'm going to hit the play button and go into the next clip. And I want you to watch it dissolve into that second clip. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button. And go back to the where I left off. I'm going to continue to add clips. So what I'll, all I have to do is tap it, it turns yellow, touch the down arrow, it drops in. I'm going to continue this process until I have all of my clips. As you can see, it's dropping each one of them into the timeline. touch my film strip, go to my clip, tap it, it highlights in yellow, and I once again tap the down arrow. Now I'm almost to the end of the clips that I wanted to use. Here is my last clip. Now basically you have created your timeline for your videos. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to swipe back and we'll will show a run through from one clip to the other. I'm not going to go into all of the details that iMovie will do because these are some of these are just kind of self-explanatory and once you start working with iMovie you can play with these features but for the purposes of this video I want to move on pretty quickly. So here we go. I'm right at the end of one clip. It's getting ready to go into my next clip. So I'm going to hit the play button. And there you go. You can see how that transitioned nicely. Okay, I have all my clips assembled and my movie is basically built. So the next thing I'm going to do is go down to this gear symbol down at the bottom right. I'm going to tap that. And it's going to give me a few options here. Theme music, fade in from black, fade out to black. The only one I'm going to deal with right now today is the fade out to black. So I'm going to highlight that by tapping that and turning that on. Go up to the top right. I'm going to click Done. Of course, I'm not adding any music. This is a simple video, but I can do all of that uh, in iMovie on my phone. I can add music. I can do voiceover. You can do a lot of things with iMovie on your phone. That's why I love it so much. So I added that fade to black. So let's watch the very end of this video and see how that works. All right, see how it faded to black? Now, I've got my movie set. At the top, I'm going to click the left arrow. We're going to go back to the movie. Now, here it is. Here is my project. It's a four minute and six second video. I am going to tap in the middle where it says My Movie. And I'm going to X out of that and retitle that. Let's just make it Steve snow day so there is the title to my video tap done and at this point in time iMovie is waiting on me to tell it what to do okay now that I have my video ready to go and I have it titled as Steve snow day I guess I ought to go in there and uh, let's do a little bit of correct grammar Steve's snow day that's better okay at the bottom in the middle you'll see the share icon I'm gonna hit that now I have many choices in which to share this video Facebook YouTube Vimeo CNN I can send it a message I can email it down here at the bottom left 
the save video icon I can actually save this completed video to my camera roll but for today we're gonna share it to YouTube so I'm gonna tap the YouTube icon Steve's snow day is already in the title my description is optional now down here at the bottom is I always select HD 720p as a minimum keeps my file size down and it still looks good on a widescreen I can also select HD 1080p however I think that's overkill for now on my iPhone down here at the bottom is the privacy settings I'm gonna make sure it's public I tap that and basically that's all I have to do and now I am going to click the share at the top right by tapping it what's going to happen now is is iMovie is going to export and they're going to bundle up this video and get ready it's going to go through a, a an export process and it's going to condense this video and once it's exported this movie this it will start the actual upload to YouTube so I'm going to pause the video right now and I will come back to you and we'll take a look at it at what it looks like when the movie is actually uploading to YouTube as you can see now the movie has finished exporting and it's actually starting to upload to YouTube this process can take a while depending on how long your video is and the export size that you chose anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes is not unusual uh, once the video completes its uploading you will get a pop-up dialog box saying that the video has uploaded to YouTube so basically with this quick tutorial today you can see that I consider iMovie for iPhone as my number one app my number one video related app for my iPhone hey that's it I'm done I hope you've enjoyed this video of how to put all these clips together in iMovie on your iPhone it's really easy and you can make some awesome videos of your whatever your family your vacations if you have a iPhone and you add the iMovie app it's like $4.99 you have a mobile video editing suite and what the heck is that there we go there they go you see that man he's making all kind of loud noise I didn't know what it was I had my back to it but they are scraping our seats but anyway I encourage you to get the iMovie app for your iPhone start making videos I'll see you in the next video